We had a session this morning looking at uh, heat flexibility. We had manufacturers Tepio and Sunam who make heat batteries. We also had uh, UCL and uh, the Centre for Net Zero joining us as well for a discussion around how do we make sure that electric heating is as flexible as possible as we get to net zero. I think the big thing we're trying to do is we're moving from the gas age, which we've had for the last 50 years in home heating, to the electric age and there are lots of bits of policy, there's lots of manufacturing, there's lots of networks and grid stuff that needs to come together. So trying to join all of that up and make it work both for the industry but also for consumers so that they're nice and warm but also that we are keeping the grid as decarbonised as possible and as quickly as possible. I hope that the people who were in the audience, we had about 50, 60 people there, went away and thought, how can I decarbonise my own heating system by moving to electricity, whether that's through a heat pump in a thermal store or through a heat battery for space heating. So I'm hoping people have gone to the stands around FutureBuild and learnt and perhaps even gone and bought a product today. I think the main impact of Future Build is that you get everybody together, you can have really good conversations, whether on the, the retrofit side, those who um, can help you on the heating side, you've got policy people here, I know the government have been here this week, we've had uh, people like myself who represent trade bodies, so you get everybody together in one place and you can really start working through stuff together and you can actually see products in the flesh as well. If you want to see how big a Sunamp product is or how small it is, you can go and look at it. If you want to see what the Tepio uh, zero emission boiler looks like, you can go and look at it. So that's a real big advantage.